and you know that these expectations are uh, achieved by means of doing little steps. We dream big, but we start with small steps. That's uh, what Mr. Baila is trying to imply and what the quotation is actually extending to us. Okay? Yes, we got this dream big, but I repeat, it doesn't mean that uh, you have this big dream, you go big immediately. All the dreams, all the goals, okay, relate in relation to your goals as a teacher inside the classroom. It should start with a small step. So it's wiser, it's true, it's wiser, it's more doable, and it's within your control if you will start changing yourself. It's impossible to immediately change the world. So relating it to our lesson for today, which has something to do with multicultural and uh, global literacy, we as teachers need to emphasize that within our grasp are our learners inside the classroom. If we want this change in society, and we don't have the entire access to the entire community, start with people whom you are uh, associated with, whom you are linked with, and who are this? These are your learners. Yung sinasabi nga nila, di ba? Uh, our uh, effect as teachers, it lasts forever. Whatever we teach, our learners will follow. Okay, whatever they will become, we have a big part. So we need to step up the game by means of becoming a champion teacher. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, you can never produce champion people, champion learners, if you yourself is not a champion teacher. And how to become a champion teacher, you should know how to apply whatever you have learned into real life for the benefit of your learners. Hindi lang yung natatawag na teacher ka, nasa harapan ka at nagturo ka, sapat na no. Okay? And we, in different courses, you have learned that we have many tasks to accomplish. Yung pagsulat lang ng lesson plan, nalaman nyo na marami yan. Uh, pagiging teacher, ang dami pa lang aspeto na dapat magdudunan. And these are things that we need to consider and we need to balance as teacher. So, as a wise teacher, set goals which are measurable, set goals which are doable. Mahirap mabigo sa mga bagay, sa mga sinet mong plano, na kahit sino naman pala sa mundo ay hindi uh, kayang gawin niya. Okay? Set doable goals. Now with that, and for this session, we shall uh, expect the following objectives to be achieved by you, of course. Okay, to discuss global and multicultural literacy, to illustrate the global competence framework, explain the dimensions of multiculturalism. If you took the teaching profession and the uh, have you taken the teaching profession? Oh, uh, there is a part there in which uh, your teacher discussed about multicultural education, if you could still remember. Okay. Uh, when I say multicultural education, kung natatandaan yung example na binigay ko, na dapat kapag nagtuturo ka, lahat ng kultura is well represented. Like with the pictures, okay, with the examples that you give na maganda, ito ang maganda, lahat ng klase ng pag-umuha ipakita mo na maganda. Kahit na hindi lang yung maganda na may uh, stereotyping na kapag matangos ang ilong nilang ang maganda. Okay? Lahat ng uri ng ilong, iparamdam mo, ipaliwanag mo, lahat yan ay maganda kasi lahat naman yan ay humihinga. May gamit. Okay? So that's what we mean by multicultural. That's just an example. Okay? By means of varying your, your, your materials, by means of making sure that with your materials, with your examples, verbally, you are representing all the cultures of your third. So that's what we mean by multicultural education in relation to multiculturalism. Next, to present effective ways and how to integrate global multiculturalism in lesson using appropriate delivery and to draft relevant policy in addressing multiculturalism in school. Okay, this will be our session outline for today. We shall discuss the following subtopics in order for us to fix, to achieve, okay, the following uh, objectives we sh which we cited a while back. Okay, and these are the references that I used. So let's start with the first subtopic. Let's discuss multicultural literacy. Again, we are discussing now in this module another type of new literacy na tinatawag natin. Your subject is building and enhancing new literacy. So we're done with the other literacies. We are now moving to multicultural and global literacy. It says here, it consists of skills 
and ability to identify the creators of knowledge and their interests. So if you have that ability, okay, uh, your that awareness to identify the source of knowledge. Example, may nyanita yung taga sa school. Uh, math teacher ko, tuturo kang math. O, oh, gege-gege, ya. Yeah. Ya, pinatama, may itang solution, ano, ang tali. Kalyan niya, of course, that ikabalo mo, ba't siya siguro sa small, yung anak na initaga sa small, yun niya, hindi niya manganita. You know the source. Okay? So, you already have the ability. Now, what will be the effect? This will reveal the assumptions of knowledge to view knowledge from diverse ethnic and cultural perspectives. Tama naman yung sagot niya. Okay? Iba nga lang yung accent, iba nga lang yung tono, pero tama yung sagot. That's the point. So what will I grade now? Am I, in, uh, am I teaching about oral communication, talking about the accent? Or am I, uh, kahit, na si, I'm, kahit na English teacher ka at ganun yung tono nila, intindihin mo na ganun kasi. Okay, so how will you grade? I-grade mo siya base dun sa so kung ano yung pakaihan niya at saan siya galing. Okay, kasi may advantage na iba kasi hindi sila doon galing sa lugar niya. That's why they don't have that accent. Mas may advantage yung lumaki, yung nakapaligid sa uh, pamilya na nag i talaga lahat and they speak English. And of course, you know, that's already an advantage. Now, you will have a different set of criteria okay, for this learner. Iba ang uh, standard mo sa kanya. Eba and fairy sir. No, it's not. That's what we call equity. Okay? That's what we call equity. Ngayon, after the first, uh, kunyari, after the week, pinigay mo na yung uh, remediation, nag-adjust ka sa dalawa, sa tatlo, kung ano man yung accent nila, pinigay mo na advanced uh, activities pa itong napakagaling sa English. Okay, after a week, they will have the same test. Now, kung ano score nila doon, yun na. You don't have to adjust. Kasi binigay mo na yung ano yung dapat. There is already equity during the process. Now, when it comes to test taking, there should be equality. Okay? Hindi pwedeng iba ang uh, ipatest mo kay ganyan, iba yung kay ganyan. Unless, nung no advanced or proficient learner yan talaga ito. Okay? Na ba, palagay mo mabobor siya, okay, dun sa ibibigay mo test kasi alam niya na yun nung first quarter pa, eh, nasa third quarter na kayo dun mo palang tinuturo yung topic. Okay? But should you still require them to take the same test? Yes. Okay, that's possible. Just to test, uh, I think tinatawag na ano, uh, uh, reliable scores. Kasi pag paulit-ulit mong pin pinagawa at ganun pa rin yung scores, kahit iba-iba na yung format, yun talaga yun. Pero kung isang beses mo lang pinagawa, huwag ka mo na mag-assume na yun na yun. Do not conclude immediately. There should be series of tests. Okay? Okay. Another, when asking for opinion, Ayan. Kapag ang mga tanungan, if the questions that you are raising inside the classroom are something subjective or are questions that require subjective answers, expected answers will differ. Even if it's opinion-based, okay, paano maging bayani? Amo mo, eh. Tinanong mo yan. Paano maging bayani sa panahong ito? Magkakaiba-iba ng sagot dyan. Meron yung iba, gusto uh, sa palagi nila, magiging bayani na sila kapag tumulong sila sa uh, pagawain bahay. Meron yung iba, mataas ang pangarap, magiging bayani sila sa pagkakataong na maging polis na sila. Yung mga pangarap na nagawa nila, niligtas ang mga naapianan niya. Eh. Tulad po ni Cardo, ah, na, uh, kahit na, uh, apat na taon na po niyang, uh, maraming nililigtas na tao sa Pilipinas. Ah, na. Gusto ko po maging katulad ni Cardo. And makanyan, eh? So it's part of their culture because that's what they are exposed to. Okay? Ngayon yung taga GMA7 ka pa lo, kaya fan na, fan na ka ng GMA7. My God, yeah, pala. Maniwala ka pa ng kardo. Tuknong ka. Pama maglakwa. Ay, tamakan ka. That's not multicultural education. Okay? That's not multicultural education. In, sinabi mo kasi sa iyong paninaw, paano maging bayan, sinasabi niya lang kanyang paninaw. And you should understand that. At paano maintindihan niya, you should have multicultural literacy. And this is what we should teach our learners. Pag tinatanggap mo yung iba't ibang opinion, kapag opinion based ang tanong ha, tinatanggap mo yung iba't ibang opinion, iba't ibang perspectives galing sa iba't ibang bata, okay, pinapakita mo na you are accepting, you are considering their answers. Napalagay mo tama naman ha, meron kasi mga maling sagot talaga na dapat nilamali. Okay, in a nice way, proper um, error correction techniques. Pag nakikita nila that there is acceptance of this diversity of different opinions, of different answers, na hindi lang yung kung anong gusto ni ma'am, yun lang yung tinatanggap niya. 
that's you are already making them multiculturally literate. You are already providing uh, to be a good example. Okay? Sabi nga dito, to use knowledge to guide action that will create humane and just world. In other words, multicultural literacy will lead to world peace. Wow, sir. O ito sinabi na natang nandin. So I wanted to change the world. Start teaching multicultural and global literacy. I start promoting okay, both of these literacies inside your classroom. Okay? Let's have another example since it's a question. Eh. Uh, Siyempre, I think kung kasabing goes kayo, yung mama mag-assume kung may request kayo yung mga marakala example. Multicultural literacy must help learners to be agents of social justice. Mm. Kapag sa inyo, meron pa kayong mga biases, okay, kunyari, kayo na lang, uh, personal biases, di naman natin maalis yan, no? We have our personal biases when it comes to judging people. Pero kapag ikaw, yung ginudge mo talaga agad, at sinarado mo na yung pinto mo, you already close the door, ay, pag may nakit kayo, ah, tuturo ka mo, no? Um, kayo mga bata, mag-iingat kayo sa mga uh, kriminal, lalo na pag maraming tato. Eh, mimingat kayo, ha, yun. Tuturo kang value sa education, ay? My God. My God, it's a fuck. Be careful with our biases. Be careful with our judgment. Okay? Pwede magkaroon tayo niyan, pero i-control mo. You should know how to filter which one to uh, verbalize, which one should not. Okay? Ako alam ko ang mga biases ko, kaya kapag nandiyan sa harapan ko, control Jeff, give chance. Ganun yun. Give chance. Uh, okay. Let's say, for instance, nabigay ako ng activity, titignan ko kung anong gagawin niya. Baka naman may nakasiksik na ballpen kung saan parte ng classroom na iniwan niya, bigla niyo nilita. At least, hindi ako napahiya. Diba? Baka mamaya, ginash ko agad. It must be a bridge to diversity. In other words, yun niya, yung, you are accepting of different perspectives, of different answers, it's a bridge to diversity. At pag sinabing diversity, pagkakaiba-iba pagkakaiba -iba inside your classroom, Okay, you take that uh, to your advantage as a teacher in order to unite them na kahit na iba-iba tayo, we could still harmonize inside the classroom having different views and opinions. Okay? Okay, let's move to the next slide. Multicultural literacy emphasizes these two essential attitudes, empathy and tolerance. Okay, when I say empathy, like you put yourself into the shoes of other people. Ayun. Siyempre, ayun nga, di ba? Kapag alam yung kultura nila, hindi mo muna i-judge. You put yourself, uh, yourselves into their shoes. Kung ako lang sa position niya, what will I feel if this will be the reaction? That's multi- Pag meron lang kayong ganong attitude, oh, congratulations. It's already a part of multicultural literature. Let's move now to question about multiculturalism. Okay, again? Good. Your ability, your knowledge to know about different cultures. Okay, that's uh, multiculturalism. What about global literacy? Global literacy, it says here, it aims to address issues of globalization. Of course, you already took a uh, contemporary world as part of your uh, foundational subjects. And you've talked about globalization in that subject. There is a globalization example. I'll give you a very uh, concrete example. Si Mr. Bala na nakaharap sa kanyang phone or laptop ngayon. Kapag hawak niya phone or laptop na yan, does it mean he could, he already has the access to the world? Yes. You could learn about Japan through YouTube. You could learn about Europe. That's an example of globalization. Everything is globalized. Okay? That when you work, whatever you do, it's globalized. Kahit na nasa Pinas ka, okay, whatever you eat, whatever you speak, in whatever business you are dealing with, that's globalization because we affect each other. Okay? Hindi pwedeng separate uh, economy ang ibang bansa, separate economy ang ibang town, municipality, or the culture of others, we don't care. It will affect us. Okay? Another example, COVID-19. Alam naman natin kung saan bansa nag-originate yan. Though, pinagdadebatehan pa ngayon na baka hindi daw galing doon. But it originated in one country. Now, where is globalization there? Hello, we have World Health Organization giving this uh, uh, reminders to, to the world. Kung wala yan. Okay? If there's no globalization, why do we have COVID-19 cases in the Philippines at the moment kahit hindi sa ating gala? So why are we affected? Why are we concerned with the wars existing in other countries? Na hindi naman tayo damay, pero bakit natin kailangan alamin at pakialaman? Kasi damay tayo. That's what we mean by globalization. 
you do not live in isolation. You live, okay, somewhere on earth and you are part of the global world, okay? Going back, global literacy aims to address issues of globalization, racism, diversity, and social justice. Because global lit uh, literacy, in relation also to multicultural uh, literacy, it requires awareness, action consistent with a broad understanding of humanity. What we can see based on global and multicultural literacy, it has... Uh, this two have relation with values education. Yes. Okay. But we still call it uh, literacy because this is knowledge. It starts with the knowledge. This You should know the facts about these people. You should know the facts about this country. Okay. So, kailangan mag-research, sir? Yes. Okay. Baka nagkakagirahan na yung dalawang bansang katabi mo. O, tapos ikaw nasa gitna. Wala, ikaw na lang walang alam. And... Uh, understanding of humanity, the planet, and the impact of human decision, and both. So, when you say planet, kasi hindi lang naman tao pinag-usapan dito. We talk about the environment. Kaya, mapapansin nyo sa mga balita, yung mga nasusunog na gubat sa ibang bansa, Amazon, oh, okay, yun, yung mga hayop na nandun, mamamatay yung iba, of course, they will become extinct, and yung biodiversity maapektuhan. Okay? At eto mga hayop na lumilipad, na pwedeng lumipad, pupunta yan sa kung saan lugar nila pwede. Eh, paano kung nagkaroon ng overpopulation ng hayop na yun dun sa lugar natin? Kasi wala sila ibang mapuntahan. O kaya kaaway nila yung mga uh, hayop na endemic sa atin. Okay? Yun, naninirahan talaga sa atin. May gisan na rin kaya kata, meron ka na rin makanyan. Eh, paano kung hindi match yung mga hayop na kinakain nila, ay eh, kinakain din pala natin. Nung mga hayop na pumunta dun sa atin. Na may kaagaw pa tayo sa ating resources. Okay, that's what we mean. That's what we mean by globalization. So we need to know about the world, okay? So that's uh, global literacy. For us to have a broad understanding of humanity, the planet, and the impact of human decision on both. Okay, so, so tuwing magtatapon ka ng basura, isipin mo, isang basura lang naman to. Okay, prove that you are globally literate. There should be application of, of what you have read. A global citizen should possess the following characteristics. First, respect for humans. Second, respect for diversity and various perspectives. Third, promote sustainable patterns of living, consumption, and production. Ayan. Yung mga binibili ba natin ay pagkatapos mong kainin, does, uh, did you dispose the waste properly or O kaya yung mga kagamitan sa bahay. Yan ba yung nakatutulong sa'yo pero hindi sa kapaligiran? Ba nakatutulong sa kapaligiran pero hindi sa'yo? Or nakatutulong pareho? There is a balance between the two. Kaya ako nga, alam niyo ang pangarap ko. Hopefully, umabot tayo. Gusto ko magkaroon ng solar panel sa pupong namin. Okay? At least, to ha bukod sa makatipid, kahit na mahal yun, at least it's an investment, di ba? And I would... Uh, promote that to you. Ala kaming solar power business, okay? I'm just, I just want to promote that. Para mo, makatipid na kayo number one. And then we help the environment. But saka pag brown out, diba? It helps you a lot. But alam natin yung mga global issues, so we know how to inject that into our lesson. Because, uh, greatly, it's about global literacy. It's your knowledge about the globe. Okay? So, makanano pagtuturo ko yung math? Makanano niyang apply? Ba? How can we use math in order to solve global issues? O yan, problema yun yan. Kasi kayo yung math teachers, buri yan. Basta ako English teacher ko, balo kung makanano kung apply. Okay? Sir, kakal mo naman. Okay, it's on your creativity. Kaya nga, ang, ang dapat dito ha, kapag ikaw ay teacher na nagtuturo, Ayan, tinuturo natin ng nulitresis. Dapat pa-updated ka ba sa pangyayari sa buong mundo? Yes. Responsibilidad mo yan. Um, what type of materials are you going to present in class? Okay? This is perhaps kung anong material lang ang mabunit mo. But if you know about the global literacy, you know that you need to be updated about social issues and then you integrate that into your uh, lesson. Okay? Fourth, appreciate the natural world and demonstrate respect on the right of all living things. Ayan, respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. We all deserve that. And we all deserve second chances. Yung tanong na, nga na, ano eh, kung ang uh, magnanakaw ay ninakawan, may karapatan ba siya magreklam? Oh, yes. Okay, kasi ninakawan pa rin siya. Okay? And everybody has the right to complain to file a case. Kasi ninakawan ka pa rin. Kahit na magnanakaw ka, yes. 
ปัตตุนัยนุลังเนนีนะครับวันการช่วงนี้นะเขาใส่ยูไอใส่ยูทั้งว่าดีละคงยินดีนะเขาใส่ยูไอยินดีใส่ยูโอเคโนอาควันติงจัดเดสเซอร์มัวกันสักการยังคิดมาดีเดสเซอร์มัวอีทั้งเดซิชั่นเดสิกูเรดักเกวังจัดเนี่ยโอเคคือนั่นคือมัลติคอลชั่นและโลบัลลิเทอเรซี now on your screen it says here The difference of students and classroom is that in terms of diversity in race, religion, and culture, we're different. Okay? Now, the commonality, okay, and this is where we should invest. If there, we have this differences, invest on educational opportunity. What's what we mean? They have the same educational opportunity inside the classroom. Kaya tayo iba't ibang lahi, iba't ibang rehiyon, iba't ibang paniniwala, coming from different cultural backgrounds, they are inside the classroom to receive the same educational opportunity. And what's the implication? You are the teacher, okay, providing this educational opportunity, an agent to that commonality. So be that bridge in order to connect this uh, people and understand what we mean by diversity, and then invest on that diversity. Give me an example. Na meron ka sa loob ng classroom, okay? Di ba malalaman mo pa yung mga ritual na meron ang uh, Katoliko, na meron ang uh, Born Again, na meron ang uh, English and Christo, di ba? And pakita mo that each ritual should be respected, and they should not be questioned, because it's part of their religion. There should be respect. Okay. Implication to teaching: You should integrate a variety of cultural contexts. You just said that in Canada, right? As much as possible, everyone is well represented. Pa ano sa kung puro katoliko ang sujanti mo? Represent other cultures too. Do not stick to. The Catholic uh, way of living. Okay, take naman yun yung pakita mo rin, present mo rin sa klase. The Pilipinas, meron tayong mga Muslim na nakasama kasamang namuhay. Ganito naman sila. Okay? Bukod sa, pag sinabi kasi Kristiyano, sasabihin, may iba't ibang sekta pa yan. Nandiyan ang mga Katoliko, nandiyan ang mga uh, miyembro ng Iglesia ng Kristo, okay, nandiyan ang miyem, uh, miyembro, miyembro ba ang tawag sa, ano, sa born again? No, dapat alamin nyo rin yung mga yan. Okay, yung fellow nila. Okay, they're fellows. Okay? Dapat alamin yung mga terms for, for them to relate. To relate very well. At pwede mo pang interviewin yung mga bata, di ba? About their ways. You learn from them too. Because they have the authentic experience. Okay. Global competence. You see this framework on screen. This is the global competence framework. Natatandaan niyo yung balita dati na ang daming bumagsak sa reading proficiency test at nahuli ang Pilipinas sa test na yun. Ayan, that was conducted by PISA. Okay? PISA stands for Program for International Student Assessment. PISA. Okay? So, sila yung nagpapatest. Now, uh, in that organi organization, okay, na kung saan nandun ang PISA, Inintroduce nila itong Global Competence Framework. The Global Competence Framework is a multidimensional capacity which allows for analysis and rationalization of local, global, and intercultural issues. I repeat, if it's about global literacy and we are talking about global competence na meron ka, it's not enough that you know about global issues. Nakita nyo, we, already we also highlighted local and international issues. Yes, sir. I do have an international, okay, global. Yes, because global is uh, one home. Okay, but when you say international, it's we are talking about between, okay, between countries, relationship between countries, okay? So it starts locally. It also permits for the understanding and appreciation of different perspectives and worldviews. Now, what are these uh, global competence uh Aspects. We have the knowledge, the values, and the attitudes, skills. Examine local. Ayon yun nandito sa ano sa ating definition. Okay. When I say world views, it's synonymous to the world to the word point of view. Okay. What's your world view? What's your point of view about this one? That's what we mean by world view. Okay. Global competence will help learners to thrive in diverse, interconnected, and rapidly changing society. Na kapag ikaw 
graduate ka sa isang skwelahan na kung saan ang teacher ay promote na promote about global literacy, paglabas mo, you know that in the society, diversity exists. Okay, this is what will you see, what will you experience, iba-iba ang tao. Eh, hindi na ituro sa iyo yan. Hindi na develop sa iyong global literacy. Yeah. But you know what? It pays a lot to have friends in the workplace because they will help you in case you need their help. Okay? Support system yan. Okay? So that's global competence. The need for global competence fall under these reasons. We need global competence first to live harmoniously and uh, in multicultural communities. Okay, lahat naman ng communities multicultural. Kahit sa Pampanga, di ba? Iba-iba na. May mga kapampangan na galing ng Bulacan. May kapampangan na galing ng Tarla. May kapampangan na galing ng uh, kung saan. Okay, sa Pampanga nga, di ba? Hindi mo natin masasabi na purely kapampangan na yung salita. May maririnig ka sa chip, nagtatagal. No? Okay, to thrive in a changing labor market. Like what I've said, they have this ability to adjust with different personalities, with different types of culture. And if you are like that, you are most likely to succeed in the workplace. So, ituro yan sa mga bata. To use media platforms effectively and responsibly. Ayan. Social media. Okay, be careful with the memes we post. Okay, with everything that we post, make sure that what you post represent your global and multicultural literacy. Okay? To support the sustainable development, yung binabanggit natin kanina na SDG. So, para sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam ng SDG, o oh yan. Okay. If you want to know more about this SDGs, kasi hindi ito ang ating emphasis no, sa isang subject, ito yung emphasize. I'm just presenting na may SDG tayo. So, hindi niya yan. Okay, just follow the link I provided on the notes of this uh, slide presentation, okay? And read more about it. SDGs. Dimensions of global competence. Dimension number one. If you have global competence, then you know how to examine issues of local, global, and cultural significance. You know how to examine. Ika agad judgmental. Kunyari mo, tinlang berlita. May binalita sa TV. Sabihin sa mga bata, mag-analyze muna. Way options. Way evidence. Okay? Kapag judgmental ka, you have that personality Lagi mo sa isip mo, step one, if I am faced in this kind of situation, be silent. Reflect. Give me three days. Ayan. Parang sa pera lang, kapag ikaw ay bulagsak at uh, araw na yung sweldo mo, ay huwag ka agad magdedesisyon sa araw na sweldo mo. Huwag mo munang i-withdraw. Give yourself three days. Give me three days, um, I'm going to think what I'm going to do with myself. Pag hawak niyo yung pera, alam mo, pag hawak niyo yung pera, nandiyan sa inyo at wala pa kayo yung plan ng bilhin, kahit ano madaanan nyo dyan sa palengke, bibilin nyo. Naisip nyo gusto nyo, kahit na hindi naman pala. Ayan. So, ayun. That's my suggestion. Okay. Uh, dimension 3. Ay, dimension 2. Understand and appreciate perspective or worldviews of others. Engage in open and appropriate effective interactions across culture. Take action for collective well-being, sustainable development. In other words, ang keyword lang dito, how do we harmonize with the society? Yan ang tanong. Okay? It's your way in unifying yourself to the world. Unifying yourself with others. Okay? Matalino ka nga ang tanong, if you have global and multicultural literacy, kaya mo bang makisalamuha sa iba? Nang hindi ka nakikipag-away, nakikipag-kompetensya, o na may nadadamay na tinatapakan na iba, or naagrabyado rin yung sarili mo. Do you know how to manage that type of situation?